This features segment of the Suburban Radio Hour is brought to you by Harina Optometrists Rockland Center. Book today at harina.ca or call 514 Harina 1. And welcome back to the Suburban Radio Hour. And uh, my pleasure to uh, hand it over to Anthony Bonaparte, our features editor. And Anthony, you've got some things that people need to know about taxes. First of all, an emphatic bonjour hi, Beryl. An emphatic bonjour hi back to you. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jennifer Cox, um, our features writer and the person who runs our blog section, found at thesuburban.com, um, did uh, a story on the tax season. And we have her online right now to talk about it herself. Okay, <laughs> let's go and go through them through the pain. Come on, Sava, Jen. I'm well, thanks. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you. So, you were very, very pleased and happy when I told you that um, the story you're going to be doing, when we, the story can be worked on this group was about taxes, because you said you loved doing taxes yourself. Is that yeah, the case? I think there was a little bit of sarcasm oh, undertone yeah. to that email, but yes, <laughs> um, I, I get that yearly that yearly assignment from you to, to do an update on the tax season, yeah. and that came across my desk recently. So, yes, I did do an article on on some of the changes in both the federal and the provincial side of personal income taxes. So good information for people to know. What else did you work on this week? Um, well, I recently wrote about the Honor Roll Breakfast. It is uh, an annual event that's hosted by Montreal Community Cares Foundation. This was the sixth year of the event, and they really want to recognize kids who have worked hard in school or have worked hard to bring up their grades academically or even improve their behavior. So they're nominated by teachers or parents, and they get to be celebrated at this great event. There were 200 people in attendance, and I did an interview with the president and founder, Denver Reed. Perfect. I'm also working on some stuff for our home section. So I did a piece on kitchen renovations. Uh, it seems like a pretty popular time right now. People have been spending a lot more time at home, and they seem to be investing more money into kitchen rental projects. Um, actually, I did some research, too, and, and Remax Canada said that you get about an 80% return on investment when you do these kitchen rentals. So I spoke with two local homeowners, and they offered some really great tips and advice for people who might be considering taking on this, this process, this big project of a, a kitchen rental. When do people start doing renovations? Uh, do they start thinking about it in the spring or summer? Like when's? when's well, I think the in, I think the indoor ones. I get a sense of the indoor ones, the bathrooms, the the kitchens, even like basement stuff. They seem to do that more in the winter because in the summer everybody wants the summer stuff. They want the decks, they want the the pools, they want the new fences, the sheds. So I, I think that that's more of a winter thing. These indoor projects. Got it. Yeah. Anything else coming up? No, other than that, uh, we always have great blogs on thesuburban.com. We have regular recipes and entertainment news. We do regular book reviews on new titles that are coming out. We always have home organization pieces with lots of great tips. And I'll be working on some March break activities. March break is right around the corner. Um, Montreal is a pretty fun city to celebrate March break. We have lots going on at the museums, the science center, the spas, the national parks, and they all seem to have a really fun sort of special lineup of activities catered right specifically for March break. So I'll give everybody a rundown on that so they can make it a great March break to remember. Fantastic. Merci beaucoup, Jen. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Take care. Well, that's where you and I are going, Anthony. Where's that? Museums and mountains. All the time. I spend all my time there. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I do. Me too. One museum to, one museum to the next. Uh, this week, apart from Jen's uh, great stories, we spoke uh, J- Dr. Mitch Shulman, our regular contributor, um, talked about managing persistent coughs. Do you ever have one of those long coughs that uh, just won't go away? Like a week um, after. It's the chronic bronchitis. Okay. <laughs> I, I solved it with, with, with Irish whiskey. Yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. Not the eight-pack-a-day habit you have there? No, uh, please. <laughs> we don't discuss personal <laughs> affairs on air. Anyways, he talked about um, the kind of pro- You know, there's all kinds of products that they sell over the counter yeah. and prescription that uh, say they deal with um, with coughs. Well, Mitch, uh, if you read Mitch's uh, piece, he'll tell you whether they're worth it or not. The second part of his story this week was uh, about measles, um, which are extremely contagious. It's a virus that remains. Yeah, I saw that. It's coming back? Yeah, yeah. Guess why? I don't know. (laughs) Why? Um, Vaccines have been in the news lately. No, really? Okay, and people who, apparently people are kind of against it. 
vaccines. They have been for the past couple of years, some people anyways. And as a result, having your kids... Um, Immunized with measles has also fallen into fallen through the cracks. But isn't this one so thing that like back. happens automatically when we're like kids? Yeah, schools, it used to be, we? but some people are starting to basically say, you know what, forget it, and not my child. And as a result, it's starting to spread. And, and how do they it's, feel about polio vaccine? Well, we'll see when we get there. Wow, but, uh, you know, I have to ask I saw, them. <laughs> I saw I saw a bit of this story. So this is because of, of vaccine opposition. Yeah, exactly, Crazy. exactly. Crazy. These are the consequences of okay. you know exactly. So, yeah, so f- because of falling vaccine rates, uh, the measles is now re- sh- re- re- resurging. And he talks about the consequences and how, it is, how easy it is to mm-hmm. basically you know, eradicate that. Um, we cons- concluded our series on Black History Month. I spoke to Kemba Mitchell. She's the former head of the West Island Black Community Association, among other things. She That's calls a great her- job. Yeah, she calls herself a black justice and anti-racism strategist. And she runs a company called KCM Consulting, which provides training and professional development workshops aimed at combating racism. And we talked about her journey and about her take on DEI programs. That's diversity, equity, and inclusion which I think is a great thing. Some people think it's not, but I think it's a great thing. And uh, we also, yes, yeah, so we talked about, talked about that a little bit. And finally, a shout out to the tiny island of Grenada. It's in the West Indies. Not, Je- Gemma Ray Bird Bays will be happier, did they? No, not Grenada. In Grenada. Spain, Grenada. Okay, big difference. It attained independence from Great Britain 50 years ago this month, on February 7th, actually. And they held an anniversary gala this past Sunday. And about 160 people attended, including the Consul General, who made the trip from Toronto. There was a special tribute to Egbert Gay, uh, founder of Community Contact and a newspaper, and a former contributor to this radio station himself. Do you know where Egbert is from, Beryl? Egbert, Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad. Yep, but guess where he was born? Grenada? Yep. Come on. Yep. His uh, mother, uh, he moved to Trinidad when he was very young. So Egbert, so we'll claim him. Uh, as one of our own. I, I think games. Gemma, uh, actually, who's a and Gemma, ter- exactly. terrific activist in her own right, I think she went she went to Grenada for the for the some of the yeah, celebrations. Yeah, she was she was she was there for a couple for a couple of weeks, yeah. but at least then she came back. She was actually got back the day before the gala, so she was actually in attendance uh, on Saturday. Um, between 862 and 83, about 10 British colonies right. uh, gained independence during those that period of time, and Grenada was one of them. Um, so yeah, it was fun. Um, another famous Grenadian that was uh, uh, is my my mother and father. <laughs> Absolutely, Dennis Bonaparte and like Dennis Bonaparte, my mother Bertha Pitt Bonaparte. Excellent. She was honored because she was a founding member of the association that put on the gala. Grenada puts out talent. Yep. And uh, next week, Dr. Mitch talks about the best way to lose weight. And guess what? Two of them not are, are not eating. <laughs> Doing less and eating more. Got it. Okay. Thanks, Anthony. And um, and uh, please, listeners, uh, do, do read the profile of Kemba Mitchell. She's a very compelling community activist. She's done great work in West Island. And coming up is Mike Cohen with All You Need to Know About Entertainment and Society News. And I, he's got a very special guest, uh, Alexandra Diaz. We'll be right back. This features segment of the Suburban Radio Hour was brought to you by Harina Optometrist's Rockland Center. Book today at harina.ca or call 514-HARINA-1.